Last day of school, dogs. Well, at least for seniors. <laughs> Are and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Frankfurt High School Art Club has completed two paintings that will be displayed in the Alley Gallery at Ellis Jewelers. The two collaborative paintings are the work of about 15 artists. One piece is dedicated to the class of 2024. The seniors voted for the words Viva, Live, and YOLO to be included in this design. The other works of art features a series of dag hunts representing famous artists or works of art. This piece is inspired by the community art project featuring painted dag hunts that will be displayed in downtown Frankfurt this summer. The painting should be on display by graduation day. We have an extremely important announcement to make. Our principal in her last year has been announced as the Indiana Principal of the Year. We always knew you were the best and we are excited for your future endeavors. Congrats, Mrs. Long. Anyone planning to play ba boys basketball next year needs to stop by Mr. Hill's office to pick up a summer schedule and Super Hoops res registration. Make sure to spread the word as the summer is very important. There is a FHS cheerleading fundraiser Thursday, May 23rd from 4 to 8 p.m. at Los Amigos Restaurant. Make sure to go out and support our wonderful cheerleaders. Now to HUD for Sports. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's the last Tuesday of the year, and for some of us, last, tu last Tuesday for us seniors. It's crazy, man. Well, to get right into sports, we got the softball sectional last night. Your Lady Hot Dogs travel to Twin Lakes to take on the West Lafayette Red Devils in the first round of their sectional. The ladies got their bats going in the third inning. Jackie Tovar Gijosa, Cam Campbell, and Carly Zebarth all had base hits, and Justine Thomas had a double. Three runs were scored. Big catches were made by Cam at the fence, Justine at short, and a throw from Caroline Queen at third to Macy Craig at first to end the inning. It was a rough season for the Lady Hot Dogs and now not how they wanted to end the season for their seniors. When asked what they'll miss most about their seniors, the responses were laughter, food, and gossip. The growth that this team has shown throughout the season is amazing, even if the scoreboard didn't always show it. Congrats, ladies, on a great season, and thank you, seniors. Some big news from one of our sporting teams. Mr. Crawford and the Lady Hot Dogs caught the fever last night as players and family members from 2nd grade to 12th grade traveled to Indianapolis to watch the Fever take on the Connecticut Sun. They saw a very competitive and intense game and had an amazing experience. The team and Mr. Crawford thanks Coach Byers for organizing it and to the Fever for welcome, welcoming them to the game. Now that is awesome. It was a great game as well. Sadly, the Fever couldn't pull out on the win though. Okay, dogs, now to get into today's sports. Tonight, we've got the boys golf team traveling to Northwestern to play nice and early at 4.30. Man, y'all are going to have to get on that bus quick. Also, for the baseball team, they'll be taking on Western at Northwestern High School for their first round of their sectional. Huge good luck to them as they're looking to have another big run like last year. And finally, Chris Rascone, Chris Angelis, and my brothers Ethan and Noah Hudspeth will be traveling to Lafayette Jeff for the boys' track regional championships on Thursday. Major good luck to them as well. Make sure to get out to these events to support your fellow dogs. All righty, y'all, that'll wrap up sports for today. Hope you all have a terrific last Tuesday and do wonderful on those finals. Now to Wayne Scott for today's weather. Well, this is the last time I'll be on here and saying this. Thank you, Huddy. For today, the low will be 79, which is insane, and then a high of 86. Sunny skies all day long, so it's going to be a nice day today, except it's very hot. But hopefully the wind will cool it off some, as it will be ranging from 8 to 17 miles per hour. That's all for me. Best of luck to my fellow seniors with what comes next for them. Now I'll be sending it. Well, let's today in lines 1 and 2 pizza sticks, and lines 3 buffalo chicken dip, and finally in line 4 taco snacks. Special happy birthday goes out to Marcos Batista Garcia, Emily Felipe, and Hillary Trujillo. Signing off for the last time from HDTV. It's been a fun ride, but that'll wrap up me and Kai's time here on Hot Dog Network. Have a great day, Hot Dogs.